tis the season to be jolly and hello everyone we are going to be giving out lots of holiday cheer today well maybe i don't know we'll have it really just depends on what people think of our holiday cheer but hello 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 i hope y'all are having a fantastic day and uh welcome back to the world of paldea and um we are here in the snow because today's theme is holiday and you know what we're gonna be giving away lots of goodies today i also gotta keep an eye out for shinies because you know what shinies are important anyways if you haven't figured this video out by the title of this the the video or the thumbnail we're gonna be giving away a ton an absolute ton of pokemon in surprise trades and when i say a ton let's take a look here um we're just i'm just gonna show you from the beginning um yeah starting from this box right here we have a ton of eevees and charmanders to give away in surprise trades today because i've been doing a lot of breeding and um i decided i wanted to see what we can get by doing 200 plus surprise trades for 2023 um i know it's not 2023 yet but this video will be coming out on christmas day so we're giving away that holiday cheer uh yeah it's a lot of pokemon it's it's literally a lot so <laughs> i guess we'll go ahead and get started and this is a great reminder if you haven't already hit that like button subscribe if you are new here and um yeah we're we're gonna do it we're gonna we're gonna do it and we're just gonna go ahead and go through all all of these Pokemon, it's going to take me absolute ages because sometimes it's fast and sometimes it's slow. But here we go. Our very first Eevee is heading out on its journey to find a new friend. Yep, there we go. This is going to take an absolute million years to do. So again, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new here, and uh, enjoy this video because it is going to be wild. There we go. There's our first one. What is our first trade Pokemon going to be? All right. Goodbye, Eevee. I wish you luck in your new home. I think in Japanese that said Ren. So goodbye and farewell. Ooh, we got a Sprigatito. Somebody's breeding Sprigatitos. And there we go. There went our first Pokemon. So uh, yeah, and this is this is gonna this is gonna take a very long time. I hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, I guess we'll go ahead and just start skipping through, and uh, enjoy. Okay, it's time. We are finally down to our last few trades, and I'm going to go ahead and start them up now. We, <laughs> let me just say, this has taken a very, very, very long time to do. I've actually broken this up over a few days, but uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and take a look and see what we get from this because... Uh, I haven't actually looked at any of the Pokemon. Uh, they've obviously they've come through, but I haven't actually like taken a look to see what we got. If we got anything good, if we got any shinies, I doubt we, anybody's going to be trading out shinies. But you know, you never know. Someone may be feeling awfully generous at this time of year. But there we go. This is our last Eevee. This is the last one. It is going off to find its new family. 
And in exchange... Oh, okay, we're getting Iron Hands. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. All right. So, here we go. This is our last Pokemon. I've had a lot of Japanese Pokemon. Like, I would say probably the majority of the Pokemon I've received from these trades, I think, has been Japanese. Uh, and that is, that's our last surprise trade. So, let's go ahead in and take a look at what we got. We'll start from the very, very beginning all the way back here, starting with surprise. So, uh, we started off with uh, some Sprigatito. Uh, you know, we'll also just go ahead in and... Let's see here. So this shows what it looks like. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll do this. All right. So we got a Sprigatito from Japan. Uh, literally almost all of these are either Japanese or Chinese. Um, yeah, and for the most part, uh, it's been really interesting. It's funny to see, like, you can kind of tell people have been breeding Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> someone's been going for Shiny Quaxly. Any, basically, like, a level one Pokemon is going to be a Pokemon that someone has been breeding. Uh, we got a few version exclusives, that's definitely for sure. Uh, and, uh, let's see, so we've got some more interesting ones here. Chinese, Japanese uh spanish eu i guess i think i'm not 100 percent certain uh chinese more chinese uh a lot of japanese and a very 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 few english language pokemon but yeah we do have some version exclusive ones that we've picked up someone else has been obviously uh breeding eevees just like i have uh and funny enough this is the only korean one i think we've picked up this is literally the only korean one and it says eb <laughs> for anyone who's curious but uh yeah i'm just kind of going through here and just looking to see if there's anything kind of like uh surprising or really cool uh, someone's definitely been breeding Fu Fue Cocos. Uh, yeah, you know, I'll definitely probably use some of these Pokemon in my breeding for Shinies as well, uh, because I think that would be quite fun to do. Use, like, bred Pokemon from other people from other languages. Uh, again, look at all these Japanese Pokemon. Like, a lot of them are Japanese. Uh, oh, we got a, a Japanese Fue, uh, Quaxley with, uh, amazing stats. All right, not too bad. Uh, let's see here. More Fue Cocos from Japan. Yeah, this is, it's pretty interesting. I think we've also got a few, uh, let's see. No version exclusives on this page, but I don't think anything came through that was shiny. Uh, I definitely didn't notice anything that was shiny. So I think I'll have to look for as if any of them have the markings. Um, oh, we did get another Korean one. We got a Heracross that was, uh, Korean as well. Interesting. Okay. All right, and then uh, over here we've got some uh, more Sprigatitos, we've got uh, Riolu, some Charmanders going on, and Drifloon, which is a version exclusive as well, so if you didn't know that, uh, I think it can only be got in Scarlet. And uh, let's see, we'll go to the next page. The next page we have uh, some interesting Pokemon, we have lots and lots and lots and lots of Japanese Pokemon. As you can see, Bounce Wheat. We got a Ditto, which I thought was quite interesting. It's an English language Ditto, though, not a foreign Ditto. But we already have a German Ditto that one of my friends traded me um, back originally, like weeks and weeks and weeks ago. Uh, Spanish EU. Oh, oh, did I miss this one? I forgot to trade that one. Somehow I missed that one singular Eevee. That's that's my bad. <laughs> Because uh, even if you trade it to someone who is an English language, uh, obviously it'll say ENG. And this is, uh, this is still not the last page. Wow, we have so many more Sprigatitos. Uh, we've got a bunch of Azurils and another Sprigatito from Japan. Let's see here. Oh, fun fact, this slow, this actually came through as a slow poke, but obviously it evolved when it got traded, which I thought was quite funny. Uh, and another Quaxly from Japan. And yeah, it's it's an interesting set of Pokemon here. And this is our last page. I definitely wasn't paying attention when we were trading these because I, I just got home. Uh, a German Wood Pills. I don't know what that is in, in English because uh, that is a Scarlet exclusive, but that's what it is in German, apparently. Uh, it's really interesting to see what the names are in different in diff for different creatures. Fue Coco. Oh, it's a Brute Bonnet. That's what it is because it actually does say the English. Interesting. Yeah, you know what? I, this is this has been quite an experience. I was actually kind of hoping we would maybe get one shiny out of this. Uh, clearly, that hasn't happened. But for anybody curious, what happens when you do two hundred plus, 
200 plus surprise traits this this is your results you get version exclusives you get a whole bunch of variety and stats uh and types and all sorts of things lots of bread pokemon because people have obviously been trying to breed for shinies uh but yeah this is this right here is the result this is boxes and boxes and boxes of traded pokemon in surprise trades so if there's a pokemon in here that you yourself uh have been wanting or would really like to get from a trade oh we got another oh wait no that was the korean ed do let me know in the comments down below i think this was a really fun thing to do for christmas i gave away a ton of charmanders and evies whether people actually wanted those or not they have them they have been gifted and uh yeah as a result this this is what we ended up with so uh let me know which one you think is probably your favorite out of all the traded ones we got i definitely would like to get a shiny sprigatito at some point but uh, I guess that is probably going to go ahead and do it for uh, this video today. I want to just take a moment to say happy holidays to everyone. Merry Christmas, uh, depending on where you are in the world and what holidays you cel celebrate. I, I see you. I see you back there, man, staring at me. <laughs> With that being said, I do want to go ahead and wish you all a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holiday Season uh, from me to you. Uh, stay warm out there, and uh, I guess I will just catch you all in the next one. Bye, everybody!